Hello, I'm Marlene Saeed with BBC World News, our top story. Migrants on the move from Croatia and into Hungary. Europe's open borders are closing ever more rapidly as countries buckle under the weight of the continuing influx of migrants trying to reach Western Europe. Croatia has now begun directing migrants and refugees on its territory to Hungary. Many thanks there to Christian Fraser, joining us there from Bragana Live. Let's move on because the US and Russian defense chiefs have discussed the crisis in Syria in their first talks for more than a year. The Pentagon has confirmed that U.S. Defense Secretary Ash Carter and his Russian counterpart, Sergei Shoigu, had a 50-minute phone call in which they agreed to hold further discussions on ways to tackle the conflict and the threat from Islamic State militants. The U.S. has been concerned over recent reports that Moscow is intensifying its military support inside Syria for President Assad. Well, let's get more on this. And I, as I mentioned, I mean, these are the first talks in over, over a year. The relations between the two sides, of course, have been really strained by the Ukraine crisis. So what, is there any significance of the fact that they are now talking? Amid jeers and shouts, lawmakers in Japan have been making their final vote. And speaking to the BBC's Marika Oi in Tokyo, she gave me the latest on what's happening there. The BBC's Marika Oi in Tokyo, and we're expecting the results of that vote in uh, a few hours' time. And we'll have more later on the 8th Rugby World Cup, which kicks off later at Twickenham. This is BBC World News. I'm Marlene Saeed. The latest headlines. Taliban gunmen have stormed a Pakistan... Let's take a look at some other news because the BBC has learned that the president of FIFA, Sepp Blatter, has told colleagues he will not travel beyond Switzerland's borders while a corruption investigation into football's world governing body continues. He had been due to attend a celebration in Moscow today to mark a thousand days until the start of the World Cup in Russia. Forest fires in Indonesia, which is spreading smoke and polluted air, have led to a jump in the number of people admitted to hospital with respiratory-related illnesses. The government claims it's made progress in taming the fires, which have led to haze across parts of western Indonesia and neighbouring Malaysia and Singapore. The American businessman Donald Trump, who's hoping to win the Republican presidential nomination, has been criticized for failing to correct a supporter who said President Obama was a Muslim and not even an American. It's an attitude President Obama has been countering for years. The 8th Rugby World Cup starts later on Friday with host England taking on Fiji at Twickenham. A few facts for you. It's now the third largest sporting event in the world after the Olympics and the Football World Cup. More than 100 nations trying to qualify. 20 teams will contest the Webb Ellis Trophy. And the defending champions, New Zealand, All Blacks, of course. Here's John Watson. Looking forward to that first match. Don't forget, you can get in touch with me on Twitter. I'm at BBC Marlene. Stay with us here on BBC World News.